Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video by Camroom5. In previous video, we briefly talked about the concept of stereoisomers which have the same chemical formula, but the atoms or the groups are arranged in 3D space differently. You could use the word of spatial conformation here. They had two categories the geometrical isomers and the optical isomers and the previous video was largely related to geometrical isomers. Geometrical isomers are made because of restricted rotation particularly around the carbon-carbon double bond. In today's video we're going to talk about geometrical isomers in detail that when there's a carbon-carbon double bond obviously both carbons let's call them again the yellow and the blue ones are bonded to two more groups each let's say the yellow one is bonded to group a and b while the blue one is bonded to c and d the main concern is that when one of these atoms is rotated it should create a new structure so for example if I try to rotate the carbon number 2, which is the blue carbon, it should create something new. In order for it to create something new, it's really important that C and D aren't same. Because if C and D were same, it wouldn't create something new. So, to have a real life example, Let's look at this structure. The carbon on the left has a CH3 and hydrogen, while the carbon on the right has CH2, CH3 group. It has another CH2, CH3 group. If I rotate the carbon, which is highlighted in yellow, it wouldn't create a difference because Currently, the hydrogen is facing a ethyl group while the methyl at the bottom is also facing a ethyl group. Even if you rotate the yellow carbon, it wouldn't create any difference because both would still be facing the same ethyl groups. So that is why the priority for geometrical isomer is, let me write a condition. This is the main condition for geometrical isomers. Both carbon atoms, both carbon atoms of carbon-carbon double bond, both carbon atoms of the carbon-carbon double bond should be bonded to two different groups. They can't be bonded to two same groups groups. For understanding I have some examples and we will see if they can make geometrical isomers or not. Let's look at the first structure. You can see there are two carbon atoms the yellow one and the blue one. The yellow carbon is bonded to two bromo groups so it can't make geometrical isomers. It can't make geometrical isomers. Let's look at the structure number two. It is written as a condensed formula. Let's try to open it up. We can see there's a CH3, then there's a CH, there's a carbon-carbon double bond, then another CH, and then CH2, and then CH3. The carbon in blue and the carbon in red are the ones with carbon-carbon double bond. Let me remove the hydrogens of both carbons and draw them with a separate line at the bottom. It can make cis trans isomers because the blue carbon is bonded to two different groups CH3 and H while the red carbon is also bonded to two different groups which include ethyl and H. Currently the way I have drawn it can't be called cis or trans either. 
but it looks a little like the cis one. Let's draw it as a proper cis structure. Both hydrogens of the blue one and the red one at the bottom, while their secondary groups, the methyl for the blue one and the ethyl CH2, CH3 for the red one are on top. This is how the cis structure for this compound is drawn. How would you draw the trans one? For the trans one, draw the carbon-carbon double bond exactly the same way. This time, don't let the hydrogens face each other. Draw the hydrogen for the blue carbon on top and for the red carbon at bottom. Now what you can do is, you can allow the remaining groups to accommodate themselves. Now you can see the hydrogens aren't facing each other, rather they are in opposite direction. The first structure was cis, the structure at the bottom is a trans. Let's look at this third example. It is again a condensed formula. You can see it starts from the left with a CH3, then there's a CH2, there's a carbon with OH which means a branch. Then you can see there's a double bond, there's a CH and then CH3. There's a double bond between the blue and the red carbon. Let me draw the hydrogen of the red carbon with a proper line at the bottom so you can appreciate the bonds. Now you can see the blue carbon is bonded to ethyl group on left and OH at the bottom. The red carbon is bonded to H at the bottom and CH3 on the right side. It is a very similar structure to the one above and now you can see there are four different groups. It would be hard to call it cis or trans but one thing is for sure okay, you can flip the structures. So you can have the carbon-carbon double bonds for the two structures Let's say in one case, your ethyl group is on top while the OH is bottom for the blue carbon. For the red carbon, you had CH3 on top and H at bottom. Now you wanted to draw it differently. So what you would do is, this time you would put the OH on top while the ethyl at bottom and for the other structure, do not flip at all. You don't flip both the structures at the same time. So this time, it is different from the first structure. You can't call cis to one and the trans to the other because they don't have same groups. But at least you know that these aren't superimposable on each other. Let's do one more example where you have a CH2 group. And since it's a CH2 group, you can notice that there are two hydrogens on the same carbon which is making another double bond. The second carbon has the double bond and then it has the long group of the propyl chain. The blue carbon and the red carbon are making carbon-carbon double bond. The blue carbon has two H's it is not fulfilling our condition. How? Because in carbon-carbon double bond, both carbon atoms should have two different groups on them. But my blue carbon here, which is making the double bond, has same groups. It wouldn't make a difference if I flip it because the hydrogens would still be the same. So it cannot make geometrical isomers. So remember, if your carbon-carbon double bond is terminal, it can't make cis-trans isomers. Let's do this skeletal structure. Now you'll have to notice the carbon highlighted in red and the carbon highlighted in blue are making double bond. The carbon highlighted in red has two groups. 
one is coming from the top left one is coming from the top left this entire group is attached to carbon red and the other thing not represented here is the hydrogen which is also a part of the red carbon when you look at the blue carbon it is attached to a CH3 on top which is a methyl group and this other group is coming from bottom right let me draw the structural formula for you to notice it you can see there's a carbon carbon double bond the red carbon and the blue carbon the blue carbon is attached on top with a methyl and at the bottom it has a two carbon chain which is obviously ethyl I'm highlighting them also when you notice the red carbon it had nothing at the bottom which obviously mean hydrogen but towards the top left it has CH2 then another CH2 then another CH2 and then CH3 this was the whole group attached on the red carbon and that is exactly why I was saying that it makes cis trans isomers currently you can see that H and CH3 are facing in the opposite direction while the ethyl and the long chain are facing in opposite direction in order to make the opposite structure what you can do is you can keep the double bond similarly but this time flip one of the carbons for the blue one flip it make the CH2 CH3 towards the top and allow the CH3 to come towards the bottom for the red carbon don't flip it and allow it to remain the same way it is and now you can see that you have achieved the geometrical isomer of the above structure your carbon blue has been flipped but the red carbon is still the same this is how geometrical isomers are made for skeletal formula so now you can see that this is how it's done let's focus on this carbon and then we will talk more in the next video we'll do some stereoisomers over there you can see that I have a blue carbon and a red carbon sorry and a red carbon but my red carbon is only showing two bonds what about the other two bonds those are two hydrogens because in skeletal we don't show hydrogen right and since the red carbon is bonded to two same things both hydrogen hydrogens we will say it can't make geometrical isomers it can't make geometrical isomers because this double bond is on the corner and it has two hydrogens but if you notice this other double bond which I'm showing right now it can make a cis trans isomer so you can flip one of the carbons the blue or the red one and you will achieve your cis trans isomers this is how we do the geometrical ones by first figuring out if they will make cis trans or not and when we are sure it will make then we flip one of the carbons so I hope you will be able to understand it from this video so in the next video we'll talk more about stereoisomers particularly the optical ones stay tuned guys thanks